How does Apple make that beautiful frosted glass effect in CSS? First, we need to start with a slightly translucent background color. In the case of Apple, they use black with about 80% opacity. Now for the magic, we can use backdrop filter in CSS to apply effects to elements behind this element. So using the blur filter applied to the backdrop will give us that nice blurry frosted glass type of effect. But there's one more little nuance Apple does to spice things up. They increase the saturation of the backdrop as well to give it some additional vividness that really gives it that nice final effect. But there's one last problem. Backdrop filter is not supported by Firefox currently. So we do need to address that. In most cases, if the blur just didn't show up, it could be a little bit hard to see the foreground content without the background content having that blur effect. So what many people do, such as Apple here, is for browsers that don't support backdrop filter, they'll make the background color even more opaque. So as opposed to 80% opaque, we're going 92% here. That way we should be able to still see the foreground contents and a little bit of the background. So if you want to use this great effect in your code, just apply these couple lines of CSS and try playing around with it. Try using different background colors. For for instance, using a light background color can give a totally different flavor to this effect. So try playing around with this. It could be pretty fun.